Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my October Shop My Stash update. So happy to be here with all of you today to share this update. But before we jump in, I have to make a comment because I'm wearing one of those like spiky headbands in my hair. This one doesn't go all the way around like the ones I grew up wearing did, but it's just like a regular headband. I saw them at Target and I just had to pick them up. And I wore one for my son's first birthday and I just loved how it looked. And like, I haven't done anything to my hair today other than like shower and just let it air dry. And I feel like it doesn't look so bad with the headband in. Normally I would have to do something to my hair, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if it like looks awful. But either way, I'm just like loving this little headband and it's such a fun little addition and it makes me feel kind of crazy because I used to wear these all the time and like, fifth and sixth grade and now here we are and I'm a full-blown adult wearing one again but everything comes back around it's wild so anyways that is not what this video is about but I had to bring it up because I thought it was really funny it is a typical shop my stash but I have a usage threshold meaning that when I film these on a monthly basis if I've not used every product that I picked out for this shop my stash at least five times it has to stick around until the next month and hopefully then I will hit five uses it just has to be in combination of the those two months it doesn't have to be an additional five uses and that's really just how it works it keeps me going through my collection I kind of say this in every one of these videos but I feel like if I did not have this project I would just use the same products over and over and over again and there would be things in my collection although it's small that would be ignored. And so this is just a really good opportunity for me to switch out what I'm working on or just to give everything a chance, try new ways to use stuff, you know, just spread the love a little bit. And it's a fun video. Hopefully all of you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk through the products that I've been using this past month and how many times I use them for. Starting off with foundation I pulled in this Smashbox Studio skin foundation I like to have something more full coverage in my regular makeup bag because I've been panning a tinted moisturizer for a while now which is great but sometimes I like a little bit more coverage I've been having a perioral dermatitis flare up for like probably a couple months now and so I know putting makeup on it is not good but there are times that I just need a little extra coverage for it and so it's been nice to have something more full coverage in my makeup bag that being said i just don't know how i feel about this one i don't always love how it looks i don't know i don't want to declutter it because i feel like it is so good for like if i'm having a breakout or like my dermatitis is acting up that if i need coverage like this is the this is the product in my collection that I'm going to choose. I just don't think it's something that I would like typically roll into this project again because I feel like it's too much for like the day to day, for me at least these days. I don't know if that's like kind of wasteful to just keep it around for times when I need fuller coverage. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out how to navigate this one, but I don't want to get rid of it because sometimes I do need the fuller coverage. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to talk about the next three products together because I used all three of these 17 times. So it's my Milani bronzer, my Too Faced blush, and then my Becca Champagne Pop highlight. So Milani bronzer, really thought I was gonna hit pan on this one, I did not. But we do have quite a dip going here, I feel like, and we're getting close to pan. This, I have no complaints about this. I love the way it applies, I love the way it looks. I think this is a beautiful product. The next one is this Too Faced blush. I really thought I was gonna wear this twice and then walk out of this project or be here filming this today saying absolutely decluttering it. I'm not going to be decluttering this one actually. Uh, while I do feel like there is some hard pan in the corners here, I feel like the actual product where I was dipping my brush, which is in the center by the actual pan, was performing quite well and giving quite a bit of pigmentation, which I didn't think it was going to. So I'm gonna keep it around. This might be something that I try and pan next year because of how big the pan is and how old the product is and how some of it's not performing. But I was actually quite impressed with how this ended up performing. So I went in thinking that I was going to declutter this and this was gonna be like the test to see if I should, but in my mind, I kind of had my mind a little bit made up already that I was going to declutter it. And then honestly, the first couple times I applied it, I was pleasantly surprised and now we're keeping it around. So another benefit of this project really. And then the next product is my Becca Champagne Pop. 
love this one. I feel like I expanded the pan a little bit and this is just a staple in my collection. I love it. I also pulled another blush into this project. This is the OG blush in the shade Carnelian. And honestly, I was thinking this would be great because I'd put this on and then I'd apply this on top and then I would probably get enough pigmentation because I was thinking that there would be nothing coming from this. When in fact, I was wearing this and then applying this on top and it felt like I was doing too much blush, which then proved to me that there, this actually had a good amount of pigmentation. So I don't know, it was very interesting. I did really like how this turned out. I enjoyed using this product. It just wasn't something that I pulled for every single day, but I did enjoy it for the five uses that I, I wore it for. I also have this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I feel like we're actually kind of moving this product quite well, meaning like there isn't a ton left in here as I can hear, I can't see into it. So I don't actually know how much this product is left, but it feels lighter and less than it had been recently. And I used this one 14 times this month I like this product. It is not my holy grail, like all day, stay all day type of product. That one is my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. That being said, I got this on Ulta when they were having basically like buy one, get one free. I think they do it like every year around the holidays where you can buy two of these for the price of one. In that case, it's a great deal. I don't know if I would buy this full price. I have three rollover products from last month. We're gonna start with a fail first. This is my NYX liner in the shade Golden Bronze. I only used this once, which brought my total uses to three. So I need to roll this in to next month to get two more uses and just roll it out of this project. I just haven't been a liner girly and I honestly just forgot about it. So that's my bad. And then the two lippies in here that I rolled over from last month, I am able to roll these out. So I use this City Lips lip gloss three times this month to get five uses. And then I also use this Brave Matte Lip Cream from Rare Beauty three times to get six uses. Happy to roll these both out. I love this product so much. It's so beautiful. I just love how it looks on the lips. It's such a pretty color. I'm just a big fan. I want to get a million more of these. And then I don't know how I feel about this one. I definitely have liked it better this month than last month because I used a thinner layer of the product. But this lip gloss, this particular shade reminds me so much of the blush I recently finished up, Romance from Makeup Geek, because it's like that pink with that gold shimmer. And I don't know, I feel like I just got really sick of that color using that blush up. So maybe it's just me right now versus like me not actually loving this lip gloss, but I wanna kinda use the other shades of the City Lips lip glosses and see how I just feel about the formula in general because I feel like I'm coming at this from not really loving the color. I am wearing it today though and I think it does look nice, so maybe that's just me. And then the last product is this Laura Mercier lipstick in the shade Dolce de Leche. I wore this four times, so this one is going to roll over to next month just like the NYX liner. I do really enjoy this, I've wore it a lot layered over my chapstick, my EOS chapstick that's in my project pan, and I think it looks really pretty, so I, it'll be easy to get one more use out of this one so I can roll it out next month. But these two are sticking around, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else back in my collection, and then we can select new products to work on for the next month. On to the fun part, starting with base. I want something to work with, just to, like I said, I like to have something fuller coverage. So I'm kind of debating between this NARS Soft Matte Foundation and this Makeup Forever Foundation. I think I might pull in this NARS one since I've been using this one off and on and I haven't used this NARS foundation in a minute. So I think I'm gonna work on this one and I think I'm actually gonna pull in a powder. I am still working on my powder that's in my project pan. That being said, it is very close to being done and it's getting a little challenging to use. And so sometimes when I'm in a rush, I don't have time to be working on getting out the last little bit of that powder. So. To give myself a little bit of a backup, I'm gonna pull in another powder from my collection. And I think I'm gonna work on this Kosas one because we need to make some progress on this one. So that is the one that I'm going to pull in. And then I also need a bronzer. I just used my Milani bronzer. So I think I'm actually gonna pull in this Marc Jacobs bronzer. I want to hit pan on both this Marc Jacobs bronzer and my Milani bronzers by the end of the year. So we'll see if we can do it. Now for blush, this drawer's getting awfully full. Recently got a 
few blushes from Merit in PR, and so I wanna try those. These two, Bespoke and Mood, honestly look very similar, but I think I'm gonna pull in Bespoke, and then I need to have my powder blush, so I think I'm gonna pull in this Buxom blush as well. I'm not gonna do anything with liners because we know how that's going for me. I do need a new setting spray, so I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And then in terms of lippies, I did wanna pull in another one of these City Lips lip glosses to try something new from them to see if I like it. This is in the shade Crimson. And then since I'm pulling in a, another lip gloss, I thought maybe grabbing a lip liner, since I haven't worked on a lip liner in a while, could be fun. So I'm not really sure. Maybe a red, like a red underneath this could be a really pretty color. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know, that could be fun. So I have a few reds actually, but maybe I'll grab this one from the Il Maquillage and Carly Bible collab. So I'll pull that one in. And maybe one more lippy. I always feel like I overdo it on the lipsticks, but it's just fun. I love pulling out lip products. Even though I don't wear a ton of lip products anymore, I do enjoy it. And this one, because I have some other more colorful ones with the gloss and the liner, maybe I'll just pull in this nude that I love. This is in the shade The Truth by Lipstick Queen. We totally forgot highlighter. So we do need to pull in something from here. And, hmm, I'm just leaning towards classic. So I'm gonna go with my MAC Soft and Gentle. So fun, let's talk about everything that we're gonna be working on the next month. So starting with base, we have this NARS foundation. We have my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. We have the Kosas Cloud Set powder. And then we have this Buxom blush in addition to this new Merit blush that I wanna try out. We have this Marc Jacobs bronzer with my MAC Soft and Gentle highlight. We're keeping around this Lara Mercier lipstick in Dolce de Leche and this NYX golden bronze eyeliner. And then for new lip products, we got the new City Lips Gloss with this red liner from Il Maquillage and then Lipstick Queen lipstick in the shade The Truth, which is a nude. And that is everything that's going into my makeup bag. And I'm so excited to use all of this stuff. I hope all of you enjoyed this video, just getting to see the new products that I'm gonna be working on. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much. Bye.